Hello, I'm using my other camera. <laughs> but anyway, Mrs. M here, how you guys doing? Um, these are still the mini breaks that I had before. But um, this time, instead of the corn rolls, I took it out and redid one half of my hair and put them in these little braids here, as you can see. And at first I didn't like it, so what I did at night, I twisted it up. I twisted the other side down, painted it down in place, pinned up the bun in the back, tied it up, left it like that for a while, and voila, now I'm loving it. <laughs> and, but it's styled, I just styled it, I just pinned it, twisted it, pinned everything up in one side. And, that's all I did and then let it flinch out on the other side. I like an asymmetrical asymmetrical I forgot what way I can pronounce it. Um yeah, and this is what I got. I just got finished working out. Um, I was playing around with some eye looks yesterday. You know, I slept in this. I still got, um, I don't know if you can see that this is bad lighting in here. But, my eyeshadow, it's still there though. Some of it, majority of it is still there. I used the primer. And I still got my eyelashes. I'm going to take this out and wash it off today. Yeah, yeah so... <laughs> What I want to talk about is um, how sometimes co-workers could set you up when you're married. Um, there was an incident. Um, I don't know if you remember <clears throat> I was talking about um, this young lady. Well, it was a couple in FedEx that just got married. They just got married like literally like last month. Well, anyway, and when she came back from her honeymoon, there was rumors circulating about this young lady, this young bride, um, messing around with another dude. Come to find out, the she she got in the car. I think it was before she got married or whatever. She got in the car with some some guy off of her ride home from work you know, on a job, and she got in the car with him, which is, she, she's pretty young, she's a young girl, which is a bit naive, you know, because if you're a people person, and you, it, it's fine to be a people person, but always be aware and alert, especially if you're in a relationship with someone, especially if you're married, because they try to catch me out there too. There was one incident where, um, I don't know if y'all remember my hoodie video. It was this silly video spoof I did of this co-worker that, I did another video about it too. She had a hoodie and she kept watching me when I was getting my last check there, right? But anyway, when I was working there, I was working on two stations. One station, I pretty much cleaned up all the, um, got all the packages scanned and loaded into the container. I moved on to another station. They both are the same ID. Like, say if it's NYC, it's going to NYC. Say they both NYC. I scanned one NYC, loaded it up by myself, loaded everything in the can. I moved on to the next station. She comes over, and instead of she was cleaning up like the roller part where all the pushes put you know, push your packages, the little big packages at. She comes over and to clean up, you know, the rollers, they had to bend over and put it up on the slide, whatever. Instead of putting it on the slide that I already cleaned up, that's already free and clear for packages, she puts it on the slide and it's the same idea. She puts it on a slide where it's like packed with packages and that makes my job difficult when 
people do that. So I asked her, I said, can you please put it on the other slide? Because you're making it harder for me to work. She tells, she turns around and tells me, don't tell me what to do. And could proceed to keep packing on the slide. I moved away and worked somewhere else. Because I did not come there for that. I already sat down with my managers and explained that to them. I didn't come here for the nonsense. I come here to work. You better handle it. So anyway, this same co-worker, two weeks later, now mind you, she already put it out that she can't stand me. Okay. I already got a bone to pick with her ass, but that's another story. And she only lived two blocks from where I live at right now. So, but anyway, too much tea in there. Anyway, <clears throat> two weeks later, I'm at the bus stop. I was talking on the phone with my hubby because he was off that week. That's a whole different story. While we had separate weeks off, it was this. Let's just put it this way. It was some bullshit games that our former boss from hell and um my last boss. It was something. Some games they was fucking playing with us though. They fix it where it's though we had to have separate vacation times. Oh yeah, it was, shit was going down in there. That's how bad it was. But anyway, we had separate vacation times. So I was on the phone. It was my week to work. I was on the phone with him at the um, work waiting for the bus. I see her walking towards the bus stop. And then I saw this SUV kind of like parked between... She was some distance away, but I knew it was her that was coming. He was parked between where she was walking at and some distance where the bus stop, you know, it was like some seats over there. The little bus stop station was at. I didn't know who that was. So, by the time she walked where the SUV was, whoever was in the car was calling her, asked her that she want to ride. She gets in. They pull up. Where I was at, I'm still on the phone with my husband. They pull up where I was at, and she was in this this heifer, the one that was like, "Don't tell me what to do, huh?" She had the audacity to ask me, "Did I want to ride?" And I looked like I didn't even say nothing. I was on the phone, and evidently I'm ignoring y'all. I don't know you. By the time they pull up. I finally saw who was, you know, driving. It was this new guy that worked in our um, area. I don't know him. He worked there for like a couple of months. He talked with an accent or these dreadlocks. But anyway, she pulled up and she had the audacity to ask, did I want to ride, like, real nice and shit. And I was like, I kind of glanced at her and I kind of, like, shoot him away. I said, I'm on the phone with my husband, my And I kind of was like, and I know they was like, well, oh, excuse me, bitch, but why should I get in the car with you with with someone I don't know? You, but here's the setup. I want to phone. I told my husband about it. I said, I ain't getting in the car with them and shit like that. Even if I was single, you don't do that, especially, especially there, you know what I'm saying, with, with, or any book, you know, environment like that. Because let me tell you why. Because the guy... He lived closer to where me and my husband lived at than he did where she lived at. That means she had to go out of her. He had to go out of his way, go half across town to uh, North, drop her off, and then go back to E up. You know, around that area. That means if I would have got in the car with him, he would have had to drop her off first, and me and her would have been alone in the car. You follow what I'm saying? And then, next thing you know, she'll go back because she got a big mouth. She even running, telling rumors now about me. I'm not even there no more. But that's a whole other story. She would have went back the next day. Oh, they was in the car alone with each other. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, you got to be careful with them little tricks. The little tricks and stuff. You just got to use... Use caution, you know, it's not wrong with being friendly with your co-workers, but if you know you got a co-worker gunning for you, use caution. 
And the guy, the next day, the guy looked at me like he was going to say something to me or confront me and shit. And I kind of looked at him like, don't even try it, bro. <laughs> don't even try it. But first of all, I'm a married woman. I'm not getting the strange car with you. Especially with someone that can't stand my ass. What that look like? You know what I'm saying? Especially with a woman that can't stand me. Cause she she she'll be itching to go back to work. Child, they was alone in the car with each other. Next thing you know, it's all over the place that we fucking. And then my husband, mind you, my husband at the time was working there too. He still works there. And he gotta hear that shit. You know, so that's basically the same track that this young, this young bride, this young, you know, wife is going through. But she fell for the track, and it's unfortunate. Now she got to deal with her husband. Her husband uh, works there too, but he works another a uh, shift. Whole bit mess, whole bit mess. But you know, try to avoid these little tracks that. These little, you know, uh, so-called co-workers or even neighbors might set up for you. Try to avoid these little tracks. BB, use discernment and, you know, know what's what. And if you got a spouse or something, let them know at all times what's going on. You know, you, you know, if you got phone, if he's around, if you got one phone with him, let them know at all times. You better believe I let them know right away. Um, you know, so so try to offer me a ride in the car with yeah. Mm hmm Yep, ain't no secrets. Ain't no secrets. But yeah, that's all I have to say for right now and I'm out. See you in the next video. Bye.